driven to explore the unknown, to challenge limits and go beyond them, to create, to reinvent, and to push the bounds of gravity. This is what led us here. This is Hoverpen 2.0. Meticulously engineered to freely balance at a 23.5 degree angle, Hoverpen 2.0 is designed to defy gravity. A simple twist will send the pen kinetically spinning in a fluid, hypnotic motion for over 20 seconds. Task switching has been shown to enhance creativity and out-of-the-box thinking. We designed Hoverpen 2.0 with this in mind helping you to rapidly focus and refocus, boosting the quality of your brainstorming sessions. Hoverpen 2.0's body is crafted from a single block of aircraft-grade aluminium. The reimagined casing has been refined with bold new dimensions and sleek ergonomic lines that feel like satin in the hand, as well as a fully magnetic cap that snaps into place. Inside is a precision flow ink cartridge, producing a premium writing experience. Hoverpen 2.0 accepts any D1 size ink cartridge. Sliding cartridges allow for quick reloads and zero rattle solid writing experience. This is your time. Explore the unknown. A new era has dawned. Hoverpen 2.0 Interstellar Edition. Looking for a unique corporate gift or artistic conversation piece for your home or office? Accurite's line of Galileo thermometers offer distinguished beauty and functional design with features that include the indoor temperature, simply conveyed by the lowest floating glass bulb. Beautiful multicolored glass spheres descend and ascend as the temperature changes. Experience the decorative combination of science and art with Accurite's Glass Galileo Thermometers. Okay, what you're looking at here is a Stirling engine. This is a very good version of a Stirling engine, but if you spin it, you get no power. It doesn't stay on for more than a few seconds, right? That's because the Stirling engine is an external combustion engine. It needs some heat or some cold. It needs to actually see a difference in temperature between the top and the bottom surface to move a bit of a bellows that's underneath under here um, to create a bit of an air pocket. So it's got a great surface area. All it's looking for is some heat. Well, what kind of heat do you need to move a Stirling engine of this size? About a cup of coffee or a cup of boiling water. Turn down my Keurig and I'm just going to put that there and uh, what's it going to do? Well, it's getting hot. Now I can nudge it along, but believe it or not, in just about a second or two, that little baby's going to start to move on its own. I'll give it a little, a little bit of a... Okay, I gave it a little bit of a start, but uh, right now it's moving on its own. Now, if you remember before, I gave it a good spin, and it stopped after a couple of seconds. Now, all I've done here is added a cup of hot water from my handy-dandy Keurig machine, and look at her go. Look at her go. Now, for what it's worth, what good is this thing? Well, it's a great little science experiment, if nothing else, and it sure is fun to look at, and it's a great way of showing people a little bit of science. You can see the little bellows moving up and down over here if you look closely. It's just moving up and down, up and down, creating a little bit of an air pocket, which then pushes this piston up and down. And of course, there's just a standard cam going on over there, one a little higher than the other, so that when one part moves up, the other part's pushing down. And that's all it takes. So this is the Stirling engine. Really great little, you know, it's a little something to show off. It's something fun. And... Uh, if you're curious about how long it's going to keep moving on that cup of coffee or this cup of boiling water, believe me, I don't think you'd have time to watch this whole thing if I did. Until that cup gets really, really cool, this thing is just going to keep going and going and going and going and going.
Hey, what's up guys? This is Doug from Carson Optical, and today we've got an LED lighted pocket microscope of ours called the Microbrite Plus. Now right away you can see that this is nice and compact, and as far as pocket microscopes go, this one couldn't be more simple to use. This is one impressive little microscope. It actually has a range from 60 to 120 power, which is huge. With this you can see things that the naked eye just can't. If you enjoy looking at plant life, or need a microscope that you can travel with, the Microbrite works outside and can be stored right inside your pocket. You got this little knob here at the top that slides back and forth and is used for changing magnification. Below that we have a nice wide focus adjustment wheel which wraps around the body and is really good to give you that extra control when focusing. So pocket microscopes. If you don't need a traditional microscope and you're looking for something a little more portable, then you're going to love the Microbrite Plus. You can look at literally anything. A couple fun things to look at are the hidden things found on currency like the microprinting. And any type of fabric looks great under this thing. With the lenses in this device, even a thin strand of hair will deliver some pretty impressive results. And the lenses in this device are spheric. That means less distortion and a better overall image for the user. Speaking of the lenses, the optical quality inside this is superior to most pocket microscopes out there. It's amazing how simple everyday items can come to life under a microscope. This microscope definitely makes detailed inspection a lot easier. The built-in LED is positioned so you can look at three-dimensional objects or flat surfaces. So if you're new to using microscopes in general, pocket microscopes are a great way to start. So why not use one that's accurate, precise, and fun to use? I'm Doug from Carson, and I'll see you next time.